Hey, we're taking a little bit of a break from framing the mini house, and I thought I'd take an opportunity to share with you um, what happened to that tub that was in the field, and I brought home and cleaned up, and let's see how it turned. This is the bathtub I got for free, and I am found a photo of a $3,400 uh, tub uh, that inspires me, and I'm not going to learn how to bend wrought iron. I just don't feel like doing that. And so I'm going to try to do it with um, uh, paint techniques and some joint compound and see if I can come up with something that makes me happy that's similar. And if not, I'll just paint the whole thing white. Anyway, um, right now I've taken off most of the paint. It was fairly easy up here. But uh, down here, um, people had used like wallpaper and decoupage materials and stuff, and it's been a little harder. So I'm about to use some stripper on it, and uh, anyway, I'll keep you posted. Hey, uh, here's a picture of the tub that inspired me. This is the fake um, copper finish I put on the found bathtub and um, actually it was donated. It was in a field. Anyway, um, what I did is I used the Rust-Oleum hammered copper, but I didn't, I, I really wanted something a little uh, more antique -y. So let's see, what did I use? <sighs> We're going to bend down here and get my stuff. I used... Uh, the folk art, um, and uh, it is, it had a little bit more of an antique look to it, a reddish look as opposed to the lighter penny, copper penny look. And then uh, I wanted to do the, um, a little bit of patina, but not a ton. So, um, and I, I, I wanted the modern master's paint, uh, but um, I'm, I'm terminally um, frugal. I can't help it. It's a condition. So what I did is, um, I'm making that up, but everything's a condition, right? Okay. So anyways, I tried the bronze, did not like it. No good for, for what I was doing. And then, uh, here's some of the elements that I'm going to be putting on the, the bathtub and, uh, they aren't finished either. That's just a, the beginning of it. And, uh, Anyway, it came out really, really good. I put a little bit of green of the full guard. I don't see it, but I mixed some green in with the antique uh, um, copper, and I put it along here just to give it a little more um, depth. I ran the, the antique just willy-nilly all over it until it, it just like kind of wore itself out. And uh, anyway, I like how it's coming out. The next thing I did was I used a stencil and some joint compound and I was supposed to get some proceed texturing stuff but the paint store didn't know what I was talking about. My dog keeps bumping. Anyway, um, so I used the stencil, put the joint compound over it and then let that dry and then painted with colors on the, um, the relief that, that was there and then I went over it lightly with a a patina um, kind of spray that didn't, it wasn't supposed to be patina, it's called jade. And then I went over it with the Rust-Oleum lightly again, and uh, then there were elements that um, were going to be added, and I'll show you pictures of those. But then I decided I kind of liked it bare, so I'm going to show you the back side that I moved around with, and then the bare side that I think I'm going to keep, and um, you can see if I made the right choice. 